Hey everyone, got a couple new cars in to review. First up is a Jaguar. It's called the Project 7. It's kind of a one-off concept car Jaguar made. Maybe like five, six years ago. Maybe like 2015-ish. This was based on the F-Type Spider or convertible. Um, back then it was the Type R and then there was the SVR. But this was just kind of a one-off where they didn't really do too much. There's a gigantic wing on it, diffuser. It kind of made it a bit like a speedster, lowered the, chopped the windshield frame a little bit. This I think is by top speed. It is unmarked underneath and it was sold by, uh, I think, Auto Barn or something like that on uh, eBay. And they, it's just in generic white styrofoam. And they do put on a nice base, but yeah. Um, I got it fairly cheap because of that, because they put it on like a modified base. Um, top speed's okay in terms of quality. You you have closed mesh, which for retail approaching $200, I don't find particularly appealing. Wheels and tires are okay. Simulated cer uh, carbon ceramic brakes. Interior is okay. There is no flocking. Paint's decent. They, I, I think this was numbered it's somewhere. It's one of maybe a couple hundred. Again, retail approaching two hundred dollars. I, I think I paid literally under a hundred dollars shipped, which at that price I'm not mad at it. Not bad, neat subject matter. Um, I do have the opening uh, auto art for the regular production car of the F Type, which is composite. It's pretty neat. Um, from the same seller on eBay. Another neat piece. This is by Motor Helix Land Rover Discovery. This is the fourth generation. Uh, it makes sense, subject matter, do both of them together because for quite a few years now, Land Rover and Jaguar have been under the same uh, parent company, which is Tata, which is Tata, however you want to say it, the Indian company. So this again came on a really nice base, kind of like simulated woody wood leather. So I guess it's more leather than wood, but depending on how you look at it. Has this really nice plaque. This is car number 39 out of only 50 made. There's a lot of metallic in this orange paint. A lot of candy. It's hard to pick up on the camera, but you can make it out. Again, wheels and tires are good. You do have... Looks like a three-dimensional kind of open grill, so that's neat. It's hard to make out the interior. Everything's kind of tinted. I think it's a pretty good model, honestly. Again, this would have retailed for a fair chunk of change. I think I paid $120 shipped, which I think is a pretty good score. Packaging, I've only got two or three Motor Helix cars. So, kind of like this uh, clamshell type. Let's see if there's anything interesting on the inside. Not particularly, just the typical way these boxes open. Nothing too exciting. No styro, nothing really. Again, a pretty neat piece. I do have the discovery by AutoArt from a generation or two before. You know, full opening diecast. No one else makes this fourth generation, so kind of take what I can get. So two resin cars this week. Maybe we'll do some diecast next week. Everyone have a good one. Please like and subscribe.